o dabar išpildom tris karaliaus norius. Prenumeruojam, sekam ir spaudžiam patinka. Aš žiauriai noriu pažiūrėti, Alex Jones, šitą interviu. Channel 5. Do you feel responsible for what happened to the same? Oi. Do you feel responsible for... Kadangi jisai apsirengęs ne kaip klaunas, tai čia, I guess, rimta laida, nu, rimtas pokalbis bus su jom. Yes, I killed the children. But beyond that... No, I mean, I went in that school, I pulled a gun out, and I shot every one of them myself. I mean, I'm guilty. It's true. No, no, let's just... Do I feel responsible that someone on, on, that played shoot em up video games on a bunch of drugs, went and killed a bunch of kids, and then the internet questioned it and I covered that? They staged Sandy Hook. The evidence is just overwhelming. We've looked at all sides. We played devil's advocate from both sides. No, I don't feel responsible. Alex Jones, Rimtas Pokerbis? No, yeah. Škalbu iš intervjuoja mėjo perspektyvos, Channel 5, Andrew Culligan. Jis yra pasakęs, kai jūs sėdo tą per didelį kostymą, Nu, jis eina realiai for fun laidą daro, bet tada, kai eina coverint, pažiūrėtų, kokį rajotą ar panašiai, jis apsirengia, nu, normaliai, tipo, nu, respectable. Tada jis daro ne tą wacky contento, o actually nori apšviesti temą kažkokį. Nes, o ši čia tema yra įdomi, nes dabar, vat, Alex Jones kaip pateikė, aišku, aš nekaltas, kad kažkas sušaudė vaikus. Aš... Lietuvių kranų turžus, aš feigus, nežinau tikrai, bet esmė yra ta, kad situacija tokia, Alex Jones, kai tik dabar patikė taip, aišku, aš nekaltas, aš tiesiog kavirinau, kas vyksta, bet ne tik kavirinai, kas vyksta. Alex Jones'as dėl to dabar ir teismus pralaimėjo ir bankrotą paskelbė, kad ten mėgint apsaugo savo turtą ir turi, bet lenkiek pinigų pritėse iš Alex Jones žmonėms, nes jisai viešai sakė per savo laidos, kad Sandy Hook tas šaudimas buvo false flag operacija, kad tai buvo fake maždaug operacija, kad, nu, tipo, tai, nu, jis labai toli su to ėjo. I'm the devil, get rid of the First Amendment, can we move on to other topics? I don't think... I killed him. First Amendment killed him. Second, get rid of the Second Amendment, get rid of the First Amendment, they're bad, they killed the kids too. George Washington killed him, Jesus killed him. The whole, we should rename the whole planet Sandy Hook. Everything, there should be holidays. We should bow five times a day to New Haven, Connecticut for the kids that died. Every American is to blame. Every gun owner is to blame. I'm to blame. We are all guilty to Bloomberg and Soros. Turn our guns in. Turn our guns in. I know. I did it. I killed them. I killed them. I killed them. I, I know. I killed them. So I'm done talking about it. Okay. I killed them. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the trial at all? There's nothing to talk about. Yeah. Let me tell you, I don't know if I can do this interview right now. <laughs> What the fuck? You like it? I don't think you should keep doing that. <laughs> what? Dude, I murdered those children. No. I did. I killed them myself. Still not a funny thing to say. I get the point, but it's just like, fuck, man. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck, dude. Right. I'm far beyond giving a fuck right now. I understand. I understand. Dude, you want to fucking take me out. Right? No, but I'm just saying. They, they really, that wasn't their intention. A jury in the Alex Jones trial ordering the conspiracy theorists to pay $45.2 million to parents who lost their six-year-old son in the Sandy Hook massacre for calling it a hoax. Every sin ever committed on Earth in 10,000 years of history, I did it. The, the, the Night Stalker, the Zodiac Killer, I did it. Vietnam War, Hitler, I was actually Hitler, it wasn't Hitler, it was me. I did it. I was in a time machine in Germany, I did all that, okay? I did everything, and that's what I accept. So, you're here with the bad guy. You're here with the villain. Lex what the fuck Luther, is happening? Right now, you're talking to him right now. You're talking to Lex Luthor. How's it feel? You don't feel like Lex Luthor to me. I invented cancer. How? I just did it. Doesn't matter. Yours must like a fever dream. What the fuck is happening? I created death. People didn't die before I was born. I created. Aš suprantu tą jos, nu, tipo, savijot, I guess. 
Uh, nu, visas jau gyvenimas Vilnių apnojo po tos, kaip pasakė tos visus dalykus, kad ten hauksas buvo ir ten teismus pralašinėja. Ir dabar taip pat eina intervijuimti ir žinai, pirmas klausimas, žinai, nu, ten ar, ar jautiesi, at, at, ar jau tiesiog mybė. Nu, ir aš suprantu tas bitas toks, žinai, humoristinis vos, ne jo, jo, aš užmušiu. Bet jis jau tiek tolis jo nuėjo, kad tipo, Jesus Christ, seni. Burn? I created Tiesia dabar, kad jo, kad jo, aš už visas ligas dar atsakingas, už viską. Jo, we get it, we get it, ką tu nori pasakyti, bet... Ok, supratu, we get it, we get it. Bus klausimo šansą paklausimas. Ok, supratu, we get it, we get it. It was a time machine before the Rothschilds created fractional reserve banking, before tally sticks, before gold coins in the Roman we era. We get it. It was the Sandy Hook event that created all money, future and forward. Yeah. Everything look is him. that. Everything. Well, I mean, how do you feel about like how your attorney did overall? They said I was guilty beforehand because they couldn't have a real trial because they had 24 minutes out of 10 years of me talking about it. Most of them be saying it happened. It's sick. It's disgusting. I was being sarcastic earlier. Yeah. I didn't kill the children. I'm not Jeffrey Dahmer. I didn't invent hemorrhoids. I simply question things, and they're trying to demonize me to say questioning things is a bad deal. Uh, and uh, elementary school massacre. They didn't just question dead, things. 27 dead now. 18 kids in Connecticut. When you got small children, this really gets to you. That's why the globalists use children's deaths to go after our guns, because they know it gets to us. So don't ever think the globalists that have hijacked this country wouldn't stage something like this. They kill little kids all day, every day. And it's not our government. It's the globalist. I really think they're going to try to come after the guns. It's going to start a civil war. I clearly believe from the evidence children are really killed in Sandy Hook, and it's a real tragedy. Unfortunately, evidence is beginning to come out people who've been coached, people who've been given cue cards, people who are behaving like actors. I dropped Billy off and watched him go around the corner, and he never came back, all because of the guns. Won't you just turn your guns in for my son? I mean, folks, we've got video of Anderson Cooper with clear blue screen out there. Nothing can account for what happens to his nose. Early on, I said, well, they had to have killed somebody. I mean, this doesn't make sense. Then parents come out and start laughing and then turn to the camera and cry. No one died in 2012 in Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely... Kaip evolucionavo istorija. Vat ką aš įsakau, Andriu Kaligan, kai jis jums taip srengas ir bando kažką apšvies situaciją, jis gerai moka padaryti video parodyti. Bet jo... Ilgą laiką, kaip keitės istorija ir kaip progresavo iki galų galė, kol teismuose pralo, nu, pralošė teismus ir ten milijonus praradų. Completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. I knew they had actors there, clearly, but I thought they killed some real kids. And it just shows how bold they are. People come to me in hotels and in grocery stores. And I'll be walking my dog and they just go, the car will go, Rrr! You son of a bitch, quit, leave those kids alone. And I'll be like, I, I, I never talk about it to me. Shut up, you son. And some people have confronted me in front of my wife and children and said, you son of a bitch, you killed those kids. No one knows who Adam Lanza is. When you ask somebody about Sandy Hook, it's Alex Jones. Yeah. So I did not kill the children. But do you feel any sense of responsibility for the way the lives of the Sandy Hook families were affected. An emotional day of testimony after three family members whose loved ones were murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School took the stand describing the harassment they endured as a result of Alex Jones' false statements. People were, you know, accusing me of lying, telling me Ben never lived, telling me that I was going to burn in hell and that I would pay for what I had done. Hensel testified that after her husband Jeremy committed suicide in 2019, people went to their daughter Aviel's gravesite looking for evidence the family was faking his death. I couldn't wrap my head around just one more family member being part of this narrative. Uh, you know. It's, a, it's an industry, it's a business. They got $73 million from Remington. Um, they sued all these different groups of people. So no, I didn't kill their kids. I already said I was sorry before they ever sued me. And now they just attach themselves to my name and who I am. They can get all the judges they want against me. I have hardly any money. All those articles you see, it's like made up. Almost all of it's not even true. You're not, you're not doing too good money-wise right now? I, I've never 
Um, like they, they had a financial expert in my rig trial, and he said Infowars is worth 130 million, and Alex Jones is worth 270 million. I, I don't have two million dollars in cash. I don't have stocks and bonds. I don't have, I don't have all that stuff. So it's, it's like a joke. They can have billion dollar verdicts. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, buvo liktis kaip paskelbėtos duomenis ten atkasė, kad uh, Infowars tą parduotuvę jų ten, jie papildus ten re reklamuoja, ten žinai, išgeria ir proto IQ įgauni, ten, aš nežinau, kaip jie papildus turi, knygą va čia reklamuoja dabar aigės, kad tenais revenue buvo ar 7 ar 8 milijonų į mėnesį, ten ar į metus, į, nu, ne į mėnesį, aišku, į metus turbūt, tai tipo, todėl turbūt tiek ir vertinu už tai, bet jie. Yeah. So they're, they're expecting you to pay 45 million dollars. It's like 47 million or something like that total. You think that in time you'll be able to do that? Oh, no. It's what's ridiculous. Like, and they have two more trials coming up in Connecticut and in Texas. And everyone's like, yeah, we're going to get him. He's like, they've built me up into like I'm this giant creature, like all powerful, like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah. And it's none of it's real. So it's like, it's funny, actually. It's actually comical. I mean, it, it's, it's actually hilarious. <laughs> and then the Sandy Hook families, they already got 73 million from Remington. They're sitting there thinking they're about to get this big payday and it doesn't exist. Yeah. Are you going to be able to keep the studio open? Oh, I mean, I mean, I could do a show anywhere. I mean, they're not going to show anything now. They could run off some of our employees. Yeah. They could shut down some of our people, yeah. uh, which is their big job to shut down America, get rid of American workers. I mean, that's the, that's the part of the course, but I mean, ultimate fish oil. Well, they, they don't put them in prison, they can't stop anything. <laughs> Was there a definitive year where big tech really teamed up to deplatform Infowars? Yeah, it was 2018, early 2018. Bay Area tech giants are taking action against a prominent conspiracy theorist. Twitter gives Alex Jones the boot. Just into CNN, Facebook is purging right-wing conspiracy theorist uh -oh. Alex Jones. Apple, Facebook, Spotify, and YouTube all completely banned Infowars within 12 hours of each other. Facebook said, we have taken it down for glorifying violence and using dehumanizing language to describe... Ar man atrodo, Alex Jones buvo pats pirmas žmogus, nu, didelis celebrity tipo, kurį visos platformos vienu mentu tipo užbano iš interneto, ten buvo įdomiai, ten koordinuota taip vos negalus. People who are transgender, Muslim and immigrants, which violates our hate speech policies. Jo, liktis taip ir buvo. They had the heads of big tech, so they got together and colluded to shut me down. I knew they had to censor freedom because freedom was so popular. I mean, I knew that was coming, yeah. How did that affect your audience size? Um, it didn't let us have, on average, that giant viral spread every day, reaching 20, 30 million people. It said it was three, four million people that were hardcore, but then they understood there was censorship, so they were grassroots putting it out. So it actually made it more underground and more avant-garde, more black sheep, more rebel, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, more outlaw, and so it made it more successful in a way. What would you do if you had a time machine? In the way. You know, I think, even though I, I got caught in their Sandy Hook trap, and I, and I was covered other people's theories and barely did it, wasn't much of what I did on the you know on the timeline. I think I'd do it all again. I think this is, is going to bring us to something bigger. I mean, technically, if I had it all over to do again, I, I wouldn't have been caught in that trap. But that's not how the universe works. I did these things, and I'm going with the flow of where I'm at. I did it from a good heart, and I think it'll be turned towards good in the end of the day. So I'm not worried about it. I believe you man is going to wake up. I believe we're going to win. What? Oh. Okay, to do it. Okay, to do a surprise girl bit. All right, so we're in uh, Newtown, Connecticut, where the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting took place around 10 years ago. It's a special week for this town because for the first time ever, Alex Jones is being made to stand trial in Connecticut. In a Connecticut courtroom just 20 miles from Sandy Hook, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones taking the stand forced to face his own lies. So right now we're on our way to go meet up with a trial attorney named Mark Bankston, who represented the Sandy Hook families. I should know that labai, labai norėčiau kad tokie va teismai ir panašiai, nu, gautus, nu, čia, žinai, labai norėčiau. Kai teis, labai man patinka, kai teisme ateina ir tie žmonės, kurie labai labai meluoja, kurie yra kaip ir priversti dažnai pasakyti, nu, teisybė ir tu gali pamatyti jų tikras spalvas ir jų tikrasias pozicijas, nes ten, nu, tada jas gali užrakinti ten kalėjimą ir panašiai. Ir kaip dažnai būna? 
vat, pavyzdžiui, vat, šitą Alex Jones padarė, kaip jis turi savo ten teorijas walk back into, arba ten visai kitai žodžiais jau pasakyti, kaip iš tikro buvo panašiai, arba ten, kai ten kokį attorney general apie trumpą paklaus ir jisai kol šiaip kalba, be lenka kalba, bet tada jau kai depoziciją daro, nu, kai, kur negali meluoti, kaip, kaip visai kitaip į klausimus atsako. Ir blia, aš su tiek daug žmonių ir tarp streamerių, ten žinai, visko bendravės esu. Kaip norėtus kartais, kad abudu mes galėtume pasakyti įsybę, nes aš nesu tas, kur meluoja dažnai, tipo, ar, ar, tipo, bet kiek aš būdavau susidūrę situacijom, kur žmonės tokius melus pasakoja ir it's fucking ridiculous. E, Malinauskas, pavyzdžiui, tenais, kur jį padoja teismą, tarsi jis meluoja. Ir jo jis po penkių metų žinai laimi teismą, bet joks kitas žmogus negali to išsikovoti. Kaip aš norėčiau, kad tie žmonės, kurie profesionaliai meluoja, atrodo, kiekvieną dieną ten, kur be būtų, blėt, kad kartais juos pastatytų, blėt, prieš tos teismus, kai jie, nors vieną kartą turėtų paskaiti teisybę, o ne tiesiog pistų protą toliau. Toks ultimate justice, žinai, biškai. In the uh, previous defamation case in Texas. Nobody thinks you killed the kid. Nobody thinks that, Alex. What you did, what you killed, is their ability to get over the death of their children. Look, I'm a parent. And I know my job. My job is to protect my kid. They couldn't be with their kids on December 12, 2012, right? Like, they couldn't do that. And so when that happened, their job I changed. Should, yes, their job became to protect their kid's legacy. And so every day that this kept going on and they couldn't stop it, these parents are feeling like they're failing their kids over and over and over again. And I put that on Alex Jones more than anybody else in the country. So for those who don't know, can you describe the extent of the harassment Man. that was experienced by the Sandy Hook families? I, there's no way I could do it just sitting here with you. It's unreal. Because initially, it just started with rough contacts. You'd get people who were emailing them, people would find out their phone number, call them on the phone. But then you had people starting to show up in Newtown and destroy the memorials they had for their kids. They had people showing up at, at, you know, at their homes, knocking on their door. They had people going around and talking to their neighbors. And then it just kept escalating as, as more and more people got caught into the wildness of it. There's Lucy Richards, right? Who was a woman who I have to have some level in of sympathy with on, on some way because she's mentally ill. But she got obsessed with all these narratives and about Lenny Posner. She was in Central Florida. And when it got disclosed that that's where Lenny had moved to and InfoWars put up his Boca Raton uh, mailbox where he picks up his mail. Well, I've got an article here from a guy I think was our last caller. He's been getting all kinds of grief from Mr. Posner. Social media shut down due to Sandy Hook false copyrights. What's interesting is they list the address for the Honor Network in uh, Boca Raton, Florida, 908 North Dixie Highway. There is no suite, but it's got two different buildings listed that address. Well, we'll just start investigating that. And I guess I'm going to have to probably go on up to New Newtown. I'm going to have to well, probably go investigate Florida as well. She decided, okay, that's my call to action. So she started stalking Lenny and Veronique through Central Florida. Okay. She would call and leave these messages. And I don't know if you've ever heard them, man. And, and maybe we'll get a hold of them for you or something just so people can understand what this is. But creepy. Did you hide your imaginary son in the attic? Are you still fucking him? You fucking Jew bastard. Look behind you. Death is coming to you real soon. Just this awful, hateful stuff. He slurs and at him and everything. And that's why it's illegal. Todėl ir nėra legalu ten sakyti, davai eikit kažką sumuškite, eikit tau užmušti, todėl ir negali to sakyti. Nes publikui visą laiką gali atsirasti kažkos dirainžių arba mentai jau žmogus, kuris tą actually ir padarysi, tada tu actually tiesiog atsakingas už tais. Todėl jo, o Alex Jones tokius ir traukia, 99 turbūt prosite publikos, yra tiesiog psichai arba tiesiog ypatingai tupi žmonės. Ir tada tas vienas prosintis dirainžt, kurie tikrai serga. Yeah, jo, tom teorijom visom įtikin čia, yep. Every, ...that don't even make any sense. Yeah. I mean, she called him in the N-word and a, a, accused him that Noah is still alive and that he's got Noah in the attic and sexually assaults him every night. And, and even after she was arrested by federal law enforcement and then she was sentenced um, to federal prison for a short period, uh, part of her conditional releases, she cannot access InfoWars. She's just simply not allowed to do that as a condition of her parole. I'm an X-Files kid, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a late 90s conspiracy guy. Man, conspiracy culture used to be fun. It used to not be so malicious and cruel. Area 51, fish-human hybrids, Roswell. I mean, it was, it was kind of fluffy in its own way. Yeah. Like, it didn't really hit, it didn't really matter at the end of the day what's at Area 51. It was a mystery box we could all have fun with. And there was a time when Alex Jones was hilarious. We just all kind of, like, watched him yeah. when he, in his early days. But the moment he started commanding 
I, I'll tell you, it goes hand in hand with the damn supplements. Sick of the globalist eugenesis control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure at InfoWars.com. We sell books, videos, t-shirts, high-quality water filters, short radios, cook stoves, survival food of the highest oh, wow. quality. Brain Force sold out in four days. Liver Shield sold out in a week. Prostagard sold out in a month. We have the highest quality nutraceuticals out there, bar none. Yeah. The, the government is going to starve you by the prepackaged food. Yeah. Right. The, the, the government has um, uh, released radiation into the environment by the iodine. You know, we, we were seeing that basically right after the month of Sandy Hook, his traffic went up darn near 50 yeah. percent from all the coverage he was doing that month of the hoax. So that caused them to double down because they've testified on the record. If we see traffic spikes, we try to emulate that. When Alex Jones said the school wasn't an operating school. When he said paramedics never even entered the building, when he said there are pictures of the children who are who they say died who are still alive, he didn't believe that shit. I, I don't believe Alex Jones thinks there's anything fishy about Sandy Hook, but he's going to keep saying it even right now. You know, he's still going to be weird about it. Why? It's not a matter of whether you believe it or not. It's a matter of whether you have carved a groove in your personality that the wheel just goes in that rut now. I think it would force a moment of ego he's not ready to confront. The Infowars store is like the main revenue source, yeah? I mean, I mean, if I need it to be, I mean, if I, I, I mean, if I need to, I go to, I, I, mean, I go to supporters and, and just get straight donations. Yeah. So uh, how, do you, how do you go about doing that? Just ask them for the money. The jury came in this evening with four point two million dollars. I admitted that I followed disinformation, but not on purpose. I apologize to the families. What I did to those families was wrong, but I didn't do it on purpose. We are so broke but if you don't fund us if you don't buy products at infowarsstore.com we will shut down so get a t-shirt get a book get bodies ultimate turmeric formula get vitamin mineral fusion get them all at infowarsstore.com and keep us on the air what do you think he deserves oh. at the end of this road um, um to no longer be in public life right like i don't pe people have been like oh you, you're out to destroy alex jones i don't want to destroy him i don't care if he wants to work at safeway or manage a sprint store i don't care I, I feel the right amount of justice is you should not be able to commercially market yourself as a public figure anymore. Like you should exit the American stage. That's what I think is the correct result. Or at least that's what I think is the most utilitarian good result. But the money is not even really the question for me. The, the question is, will this suit be successful at stopping him from being on the national stage? And my worry is, like we said in the courthouses, it won't be because the cameras will still follow him. Like he can lose all of his money. He gets out there again on the bullhorn and he starts building it right back up. No, I told you I was, I was going to shut it down before they sued me and shit. I'm time. not happening now. You were going to shut down the was? I was going to hand it off to the people. I know. It's not a love, labor of love now, it's a labor of war. We ain't shutting the shit down. So the so the question is, can La this the question. in the courthouses? It won't be because the cameras will still follow him. Like he can lose all of his money. He gets out there again on the bullhorn and he starts building it right back up. No, I told you I was I was gonna shut it down before they sued me and shit. I'm Tom. Not happening now. You were gonna shut down in Fillmore's? I was gonna hand it off to the people. I know. It's not a love, labor of love now. It's a labor of war. We ain't shutting shit down. So the, so the question is, can this cause of action against Jones on behalf of these parents come to represent something bigger? Is, is it a bigger referendum on the false things he's saying? I hope so, man. I hope so. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Dead. I see me picking my teeth, my enemy's bones.